Hey everybody, it's Wednesday's birthday. Here she is. Say hi everybody. Thank you for coming to my birthday party. I'm the birthday girl, see? Yeah, can you tell there's a pandemic and that I'm laid off because I decorated the house and I'm having a birthday party for my two-year-old dog. So you are now part of it because you are attending a dog's birthday party on Facebook Live. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Happy birthday, Wednesday. Happy birthday. I know, I know, this is crazy. What is wrong with all of the adults? Don't they have anything better to do? Don't they have jobs? Why won't they leave the house? Why won't they do anything, right? But no, we're having birthday parties for you on Facebook. Why are we doing that? She won't be saying that when she gets all of her presents, which I did uh, get and have already. So I hope that you are celebrating Wednesday's birthday with your pets and your kids. And um, if you wanna take birthday selfies, say hi. Say happy birthday. Yay! So I think that Wednesday is um, whining because there's ice cream for her on the table. So I think before we do anything, I think she's gonna want to eat the ice cream because um, she smells it and she doesn't get it very often and she's starting to freak out. So, happy birthday, Wednesday. Hey, are you ready? Do you want to have some ice cream? Yeah, see? Oh, all of a sudden you want to have ice cream. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Wednesday. Happy birthday to you. Are you ready to have some ice cream? Do you want to have some ice cream? Okay, I'll blow the candle out for you. I'll eat the ice cream off the end of the candle. I'll take off your ridiculous birthday girl necklace that I made for you, which is why I'm wearing a crown and a pearl necklace because it's my dog's birthday and well, there's no one else here to celebrate. So I've been locked in the house for almost a month. I'm having a party by myself. Yes, I blew up. It's, I know it's backwards, but it says Wednesday up there and it's a big number two and I'm having a friggin' birthday party for my dog. Wednesday, do you wanna have some ice cream? Do you want some ice cream? Does everybody wanna watch you eat ice cream? Yes. Yeah, she does not get junk food or table food. This is like a once a year thing. Do you wanna watch a pug eat ice cream? Yeah, is that good? Say thank you, everybody, for coming to my birthday party. Say thank you, everybody. Can you hear the pug noises? Pugs eating ice cream, hilarious. Say thank you, everybody, for coming to my birthday party. I don't give a fuck. Stop making noise. Ooh, sorry. I didn't mean to swear in front of the kids if they were taking part in the birthday party. She's like, stop talking to me, Mom. I just want to eat the damn ice cream. Right? Yummy. Is that good? Come here. Let me see the ice cream on your nose. Come up here. Come on. Come here. She's like, where did it go? There was ice cream on my nose, and now it's gone. Come here. I have more presents for you. Do you want to open your presents in front of everybody? so that we can start drinking and get back to the, the cocktails in the war room. Come here, come here. Was that good? Was that good ice cream? Do you wanna show everybody what you got for your birthday? Huh? Do you wanna show them your birthday presents? Okay, are you ready? Hold on. Come here, sit down. You got a new toy, a stingray. <laughs> That squeaks. 
Do you want the squeaking toy? I got her a stingray. And I thought because sometimes I need to entice her to hang out and have a cocktail in the war room, I got Wednesday a cocktail for the war room. And it's like crinkly and it it has a it has a squeaker, but it kinda sucks. Ooh, that's a good one. Wednesday. Come here. Come have your cocktail. Come here. She's like, what is going on? These are weird noises. Do you want to show everybody? You ready? Does she like it? I can't tell. She's sniffing it out right now. Bring it over here. Nope. She just took her cocktail and she took off. She's like, this birthday party sucks. Um, I also got her a coffee mug that says dragon ass with a pug dragging her ass across the ground and her favorite bone, a Nyla bone. That's her favorite. So there you go. There's the pug birthday party. She's eating her drink in there, squeaking the squeaker. Can you hear her? Yeah, you'll probably hear that for the rest of the time. Uh, so there you go. It's Saturday night. We're locked in the house and you're attending not just a dog's birthday party. You are virtually attending a dog's birthday party. Something that you probably swore would be the end of life as you know it. And right now you're like, I have nothing better to do. Mistress Carrie's completely lost her friggin' mind. She's having a birthday party alone for her dog. And you know what? I'm going to sit here and watch it live on Facebook. That is what we've become right now, everybody. So you know what? Cheers. Cheers to your first, hopefully, um, virtual dog birthday party. And oh, just in time. Here she comes with her cocktail. Wednesday. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That just happened. Do you want to try this one now? I think she likes the drink. Do you want this one? I don't know. We'll see. She's starting to go after the toys, which is good. So I had to get that over with because she's been whining for the last 10 minutes because she heard me go in the freezer and she heard the ice cream and she really wanted it. She smelled it. She's been whining. She's like, give me the damn ice cream. So how are you guys doing? What's going on? I'm sitting here with a crown on my head. Is it weird? Yeah, it's a little weird. And now I have a hat head because I had a crown on my head because I'm at a dog's birthday party. Um, I left the house today. Can you hear her? Yeah, I know. It's gonna be that way, I think, for the rest of the night. I left the house today. I went to Home Depot. <laughs> this is gonna be a thing. I haven't, this, that's the first sip of booze I've had all day. This right here is sober, okay? Give me that. Gimme. Urgh. She likes it. Uh, I went to Home Depot today. I had to buy some boards because I'm doing some repair work on uh, my garden outside. I've been talking about it. I just want to say hi to everyone that saw me wrestling 16 foot pressure treated boards onto the roof of my SUV and strapping them down in the parking lot of Home Depot. First of all, if you were in the parking lot and you watched me struggle and you didn't offer to help, you totally suck. Second of all, I hope you got pictures or you videotaped me because I got my ass kicked by some 16 foot pressure treated boards in the parking lot of Home Depot today. And now I'm at a dog's birthday party. Um, so it was very weird leaving the house. I don't do it very often, but I did it today. I went to Home Depot. Um, I also allowed myself to go through the drive-thru of Dunkin' Donuts. And my iced coffee was a gift from the heavens. So to all of the people that are at Dunkin' Donuts, you need to know how much you brighten the day of the people that end up in your drive-thru. Because if it wasn't inappropriate... I would have hugged you. I'm supposed to keep my social distance. Look at her, look at her. She smells the bone. 
in the coffee mug I bought her. Is that what you want? See your mug? Do you want your bone? Do you want your bone? Is that what you want? Come up here. Okay. Can you up oh, sit down? Sit. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can show everybody your tricks. Can you sit down for me? That's not the trick I wanted you to show everybody. What? I want you to sit. Can you can you show no? Can you show everybody how you give paw? Can you show everybody? Can I have your paw? No, no, no. High five. High five. Sit. Sit down. High five. All right, that's good enough. She wants the bone. It's her birthday. Give her the damn bone. That thing will be gone in three seconds. She's going to put a beating on that bone. Again, she doesn't get these kind of treats very often um, because I watch her diet because pugs get very unhealthy in their old age if they're overweight. So I want to make sure that uh, she stays at a healthy weight her whole life. She is my fifth pug. Um, I had two back that I that I got back in the late 90s um, as puppies and they lived to be 16 and then I had two that I rescued Autumn and Muggsy and they lived to be 14 uh, even though I only got them when they were middle-aged and then I got her as a puppy so I got a pretty good track record but you got to keep them under not underweight but you got to keep their weight down so that they don't get fat um, and that means controlling the amount of ice cream that they get and how many treats they get kind of like Kind of like us. I feel like I should put the crown back on. Just for a little while. I mean, there's a balloon. I got a balloon. I couldn't get helium, so I had to get a freaking straw. Okay, can we talk about this for a second? Before we go back to laughing at me in the parking lot at Home Depot, putting 16-foot pressure-treated boards on the roof of my car. Those Mylar balloons, normally you would go to the party place and you would get it and then they would fill it up with helium and then you would get it home. But there's no party stores, so I was able to get my hands on a balloon and then I had to take a straw and I had to feed it through the thing and I blew that up myself and then propped it up to look like it's got helium in it, but it doesn't. It's just me. And then that says Wednesday back there. So anyway, so I went to Home Depot, I got the boards, I made it home. The ride was weird because um, the boards were really long on the roof of my car. And every time I hit a bump, I thought the roof rack of my uh, car was going to fly off because the boards were going blah, 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 blah. But thanks to my years of driving trucks and packing the back of semis, um, I made it home fine. And I'm going to finish the construction work on the structure of my garden tomorrow. So there you go. Um, if you are celebrating Wednesday's birthday with me with your pets, today is National Pet Day. So to all of our pets that have been keeping us sane through all of this craziness, it doesn't have to be their birthday today because today is National Pet Day. And my pet is putting the beating on her favorite bone back there, which is already gone. And it's her birthday. So happy National Pet Day, everyone. Mm. If you are celebrating your birthday along with Wednesday, cheers. Um, you share your birthday with Nigel from Bush, Ollie from Rammstein, and Tom Thacker from Sum 41. So there you go. Those are the people you share your birthday with. But in my opinion, the cutest out of all of them is sitting right there. Right, Wednesday? It's your birthday, right? Happy birthday. Can I have a kiss? Maybe. I gave you ice cream. Can I have a kiss? Hey. No? You don't want to kiss me in front of everyone? Am I going to look like Tom Brady trying to make my kid kiss me? You're not allowed to make fun of me. I'm here by myself with my dog. Um, today is also um, the anniversary of Bob Dylan's first live gig ever. He uh, played for the first time in New York City in 1961, opening up for John Lee Hooker, which I thought was really cool. Um, and also we lost Jay Giles three years ago today. We lost him in 2017. So I wanted to bring that up as well. So to a rock and roll legend and a local hero to Jay Giles. Um, today there is something awesome that is hitting the internet and I thought that we could all take part in it. I've posted my picture in the past, but there is a senior portrait challenge that's going around on social media 
because all of the graduating seniors from high school and college are most likely not going to have a commencement. Really? And so everybody's posting their senior pictures. So you got to dig out if you don't have it digitized already and dig out your high school senior like yearbook photo or whatever and post it in support of the class of 2020 because, <laughs> hey, what? What? I know it's your birthday, but can we talk about some other stuff besides you? It's not all about you Wednesday, or is it? I mean, I am a firm believer that your birthday, you should have a paid day off. It should be like your own personal holiday. Is that what you believe too, Wednesday? Or is it that you want the rest of that ice cream that's in the bowl? What do you think? Okay. You can have some more ice cream. Yeah. You think that's what she wanted? It's exactly what she wanted. So you got to dig out your senior yearbook photo. Uh, mine is... Uh, up on this Facebook page in an album that I believe is called For Your Laughing Pleasure. And it's got really big hair, and I don't want to hear it. The picture was taken in late 1989, and uh, I had really big hair. So put your pictures up. Also making the news today, the uh, Astros were stripped of their 2017 World Series title, and they are also banned from Major League Baseball postseason until 2022. That happened today. Crazy. According to Alcohol.com, who is doing unbelievable research right now, uh, they studied how many people that claim they are working from home and how many of them are drinking while they're doing it, and the top two states where the drunkest workers are working from home, Virginia and Rhode Island, where 50% of the at-home workers right now claim to be drinking while they're on the clock. Um, you know what? I'm kind of disappointed because Massachusetts didn't even make it into the top 10. 50% uh, of the people in Rhode Island are drinking right now while they're at work. Wednesday... There's no, like she literally licked the ice cream like it's gone. There isn't a drop. I could almost put this bowl back in the cabinet because it's that clean, but I won't. I will wash it because I'm washing everything. Uh, so I thought that was really interesting that people down in Rhode Island are out drinking almost everyone in the United States while they're at work. The, the ice cream is gone, my love. That's it. You had your favorite bone. You had ice cream. You got treats. That's all. That, that's all there is. I blew the candle out for you. I gave you a necklace. I'm wearing a crown on my head. Usually you're asleep right now. Here, I'm talking to the dog. This is what happens all day, right? You're, it's, there's no more bones in your mug. I got the mug for you. There's no bone in there. Look at her, she's in, she's like, there was a bone in there, I can smell it. I really think today is the beginning of the end for my sanity. I, I really think that I've reached like a whole new level um, today is the first time in, I, I don't even know how long, that all 50 states in the United States are under a disaster declaration order simultaneously. Yes, William, I'm having it in front of people. I'm losing it, and I'm doing it live on the internet right now. Uh, so every state in the United States right now is currently under a disaster declaration, and it's happening all at once um, for the first time in decades. Come here. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Everybody wants to see you. It's your birthday. Thank you. Did you have a nice birthday? Did you like all of your presents? I even got you a drink. You're a teenager now. You're not even supposed to drink because you're 14 in dog years. But I got you a cocktail. Next year, maybe you can have one for real. Time to bust out the bunny suit, somebody said. Actually, tomorrow's Easter. So guess what I'll probably be wearing tomorrow? Bunny suit. Um, sanity out the window, says Eric. Um, so what kind of iced coffee did you get at Dunks? Uh, I like my iced coffee just with almond milk in it because it's vanilla flavored almond milk. So I just put that in it. I don't even put sugar in it or anything. Uh, Kim says in Michigan, they can't go residence to residence. There's, um, there's, you need a job fast, says Joseph. Trust me. I know. I know. I'm at home with a dog who wants ice cream and I'm working on my resume. But as you can imagine, like anyone else that's laid off right now, uh, finding a job isn't exactly easy with what's going on right now. 
Now she's throwing the friggin' pillows off the couch because that's her other favorite thing to do. Um, so yes, my husband fact checked the Astros tweet and it was fake news. Sports Center tweeted it out. I read it on Sports Center. You guys are gonna have to fact check me on that, but Sports Center tweeted it out. That's where I got my information. And then Steve says blueberry cobbler. That's fantastic. Um, so that is going on. Uh, Dr. Fauci said that uh, he expects a real degree of normality in the United States by November. A real degree of normality by November. That's what we can expect right now. I don't know of his definition of real degree of normality, but that was his quote. My dog is wound up on sugar from ice cream right now. But at least she likes her drink. So you're having a cocktail in the war room with Wednesday. And the obnoxiously loud squeaker toy back there. But she's into it, and it's her birthday, so it's cool. Um, also today, Massachusetts grocery store workers can now get free COVID-19 tests. And I believe there's two drive through testing facilities that are going to be conducting tests for grocery store workers, which is fantastic news. Um, unfortunately, um, they are expecting the apex here in Massachusetts to be centered in or around April 20th. Um, so that's what we can expect here in Massachusetts. And the numbers today, uh, over 526,000 cases in the United States with over 20,400 fatalities. Um, and of course, with everything that's going on, um, there are a lot of people that are out of work. What I thought was really cool is that Live Nation, who is seeing their entire business shut down because all of the tours are gone, uh, they've started something called Crew Nation, and hello, do you want to come over here and sit down so we can talk about what Live Nation's doing? That would be great. Um, they've started Crew Nation, which is a fund to help all of the um, local crews and the band crews, and they've made a $10 million donation to start Crew Nation, which I thought was really cool. Uh, you can go to Live Nation's website if you want to get more information on that. Um, Because anybody that's ever been to a show, it's what I used to do before I was a DJ. Um, I was a roadie. There are so many people behind the scenes making those amazing concerts that we love to go and see. And all of those crews right now are out of work. I mean, think of all of the crew people that just work in Vegas at all of the Cirque shows, all the live concerts that they have there. I mean, it's insane how many people are not working in all of these arenas that... Um, you know, I mean, I was talking about my friends at... Um, Image Custom Cases the other day from Central Massachusetts. They make road cases for gear for concerts and they have started making those plexi shields to protect cashiers in stores that are open right now um, because they can't make road cases. What? Which you could go to imagecases.com by the way if you want to check those guys out. I thought it was really cool that a bunch of guys that are used to making protective cases for um, road equipment are now helping cashiers stay safe in stores so that we can all go and get the things we need at the store. I thought that was very cool. Hi, how you doing? Are you good? Are you done being a crazy dog? Not quite yet? Do you want to thank everyone for being at your birthday party today? Hmm? What do you got on your face? It's nice that you're awake this late. It's probably the ice cream, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, somebody said truck drivers can't even get a hot meal or use a bathroom. All the truck stops are closed. I know. It's so that, the, you know, the restaurants that are at least supplying takeout food for all of the truckers, I know there are some restaurants that are encouraging truck drivers to pull into their parking lots. I think Texas Roadhouse is actually doing that, um, that they're encouraging truckers to come by their parking lots and that they're making meals for them and stuff. So people are trying to cater to all of the truckers that are keeping you know, everything moving around the country, which is awesome. Uh, her face is killing me. I love her, says Lisa. 
Princess Wednesday, Kimberly says. I know, it's, it's a little out of control what's going on right now. Did anybody fact check the Astros story for me, please? I know I read it on Sports Center, so I didn't get a chance to watch TV at all today because I was wrestling 16-foot pressure-treated boards onto the roof of my SUV at Home Depot for a while, um, and then obviously was working outside and then spending all of my extra time blowing up a balloon for my dog's birthday party, so I did not get a chance to watch the news today. Um, so if the sports center thing was a joke about the Astros, you got to let me know. Um, it's true. Kurt says, thank you very much for checking it. Astros thing. Astros thing is fake news. Okay. One person's telling me it's true. The next person's telling me it's fake. Can somebody go on the sports center website and tell me if this is fake or not? I don't want to be spreading fake news, but then why would sports center put it up there if it wasn't true? It's not on ESPN or Yahoo Sports. Okay, it was on the Sports Center Twitter feed. I saw it today. Damn it. Um, are you sore from having a brawl with the wood? No, I'm okay. It's amazing how uh, heavy a 16-foot board is when you're trying to put it on the roof of your car by yourself, though, I'll tell you. Yeah, Robert DeSisto says, yes, and they're banned for the next two postseasons. That's what I said. Okay, so it's not fake news. Okay, I'm glad that I'm not going crazy, although um, I am going a little crazy here. I was going to show you something in the war room today, but I've, I kind of showed you all of Wednesday's stuff so that it's not on MLB.com. Okay, that's weird. Uh, nothing on the sports stations websites. The volume keeps going out. What is going on? Maybe it's because I'm holding my phone weird because I was wrestling my pug that's on a sugar high right now, but I believe she just went to go take a nap. So, um, uh, I'm not crazy. You made sure. Oh, okay, good. So how are you guys going to handle Easter tomorrow? Um, I talked to you the other day about how my family canceled Easter dinner, that we're not the most religious of families, but we always used Easter as just an excuse to all get together and have a meal together. Um, I know that my little nieces and nephew are going to be going on an Easter egg hunt tomorrow, but what are you guys doing with the kids? Because obviously it's 24 seven with the kids now. So what are you guys doing to, um, um, uh, to keep the kids occupied for Easter tomorrow. Cause it, it really is, um, my dog is trying to get up on the coffee table. She's crazy. She was over there like tugging on the ISIS flag that I have on the table. Oh, you guys are doing a zoom dinner. Sheila says that's very cool. Chris says getting prime rib takeout from a local restaurant for the whole family. That's awesome because not only are you doing like a like a dinner, but you're also getting it from a local restaurant, which um, I think is awesome. Pam says, had Easter today because my husband works on Sunday. Um, Going to make ribs tomorrow, Frank says. <laughs> Eric says, an Easter keg hunt by myself. That sounds fantastic. I did see something really funny that uh, people are putting bottles of liquor in all of their rooms. Like I saw a meme about it and that you're going to go on a pub crawl by going room to room and doing shots in every room of your house because that's where we're all going right now. At least you're not going to be stuck in the house with that. What'd you do Wednesday? You knocked it off the couch. Do you want me to hand it to you? No? I know what I'm going to be playing fetch with for the next four hours. Let's see. Sean says the Astros were fined $5 million, the maximum allowed by Major League Baseball Constitution, and forced, forced, forced to forfeit their first and second round draft picks for 2021. In addition, they... Uh, 
Lenau and Hinch were suspended for the entire 2020 season, including the playoffs. All right. I don't know why SportsCenter tweeted that out, but I don't want you guys to think I made it up. I thought I could trust SportsCenter, so you guys are going to have to fact check me on that. Uh, Joseph says, doing an Easter egg hunt with nip bottles tomorrow. That is fantastic. Um, Easter Bunny in Revere. I wanted to, uh, wanted to say that he... Uh, it's got the coronavirus and shoot him. That's nice, Roberto. Come on now. Krista says she's making a ham. So I have sandwiches all week and I'll put together baskets for my husband and his mom as a surprise. Well, that's very cool. Uh, let's see. Making a ham dinner for uh, my chubby kitty. Cooking prime rib for the wife and kids and a few beers as well. That sounds fantastic, Mark. Um, let's see. Nothing on the bleacher report. Uh, Terrence says if the Astros have to forfeit their title, uh, so should the Red Sox. Let's see. Uh, only saw old stuff about the Astros. Okay. Well, maybe I was wrong. I apologize. I went through Twitter and I was looking at all of the stuff and I saw that and wanted to talk to you about it. I thought it was crazy. I just looked it up. Stephanie says it's on Google. Hmm, maybe I was right. I don't know. Either way, you guys are going to have to let me know. If I'm wrong, I can claim insanity. And if I was right, I could claim insanity. Lou says it's fake. We're never going to get to the bottom of it. This is what happens when I'm off the air for like a month and a half. The wheels are starting to fall off the wagon. Right, Wednesday? Right? Your mom is starting to go cuckoo crazy in the head. Hmm? Are you making weird pug noises? Uh, let's see. It's our very own Easter egg hunt for Astros information, says Dawn. I love you. Thank you for finding the silver lining in all of this. I appreciate that very much. Suzanne says the background noise is hilarious. Yeah, between... Okay, she's throwing all the pillows off the couch, wrestling. Yeah, see, there she goes. I'm not kidding. This is what she does. Every couch, every pillow, she's just kind of... See? And that's when she snapped. I feel like my life right now needs to be narrated by Morgan Freeman. Can someone make that happen? Because right now, this footage narrated by Morgan Freeman would be the greatest thing ever. Okay. Now we all need a drink recipe, I think. I did not pick one out, but actually I lied. I did pick one out. This is called a jumping jelly bean, which I thought would be great to have ready for tomorrow. It's an ounce of tequila, an ounce of Grand Marnier, and an ounce of fresh lemon juice um, and chilled champagne. Shake the tequila, the Grand Marnier, and the lemon juice, then strain into a martini glass and fill with champagne and serve. That actually sounds really good. That's called a jumping jelly bean. Maybe you could have that tomorrow for Easter. Just as a side note, I think the Starburst jelly beans are the best ones, but that's just me. Um, Wendy says meatloaf does the same thing. Now, Wednesday was in a litter of six puppies, and meatloaf is her brother, and her dad's name is Booger. And Booger and Meatloaf, the father and son duo, have their own Instagram page. And Wednesday, the goth pug and Booger and Meatloaf send messages to each other all the time on Instagram. So uh, James says, no, your story needs to be narrated by Ozzy. Even better. That would be amazing. Um, I'll take the jelly bean. Mm. Mariah says, anything with tequila is a yes for me. Uh, that would be awesome. Aunt made it for me, and it's awesome with Jelly Belly. Okay. Swedish fish jelly beans. Oh, yes, absolutely. Hey, what are you doing? That's my bartender book. You can't have that. There's nothing else on that table for you. Your birthday is all over this floor, along with all of the pillows that you knocked down.
Um, if you could only understand a word that Ozzy says, Kim says, I know. Uh, Steve, thank you for agreeing with me that the Starburst jelly beans are fantastic. They are so good. So that's your drink for the night. Um, uh, there's a bunch of other phone numbers actually that I got today that I wanted to share with you guys as well. I try to give you guys at least informational resources. I, I try too hard, you know, not to bog you down with a lot of the sad news, but I also kind of just want to have it out there in case you didn't get a chance to see the news and also to give us a chance to talk about it if it's something you guys did want to talk about. Um, but there are a bunch of resources and I want to make sure that you guys have them all just in case, especially, um, you know, with family pressures and not being able to be around your family on a holiday weekend for a lot of people. Um, don't forget that the Massachusetts COVID-19 resource website is mass.gov slash COVID-19. The safe link phone number we talked about yesterday for anyone that is, um, having any kind of issues with domestic violence, you can call SafeLink, which is 877-785-2020. Uh, that's 877-785-2020. And there are people there that can direct you to resources that will be able to help you. Um, also, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, I want to give this to you guys every day because unfortunately, you might need it and be like, oh, why don't I have that number? Because you might talk to somebody you know, it could be a friend that you just end up talking to later on tonight and they don't sound right. And that way you can give this information. Uh, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline is 1-800-273-8255 and their website is suicidepreventionlifeline.org. There's also a new phone number that the state of Massachusetts put together called the Nursing Home Family Resource Line. And that number is 617-660-5399. Obviously, if you have a loved one in an elderly care facility or a nursing home, uh, those places have now become off limits to family and friends, and they're trying to lock them all down to keep the residents safe inside. And so the state has put together the Nursing Home Family Resource Line, which is 617-660-5399. Um, and those are all uh, numbers that I just feel like, you know, you are you don't think you need them until you need them. And so I want you to have all the information um, just in case, if not for you, for um, somebody else, especially, um, you know, there's, I talked to some friends today that I haven't spoken to for a while that I went to college with. We all got on a Zoom chat today. And there were a few people that we were really hoping we were going to talk to, and they didn't join us in the chat. And, um, you know, I know some of them are by themselves right now, and I know what it's like to, you know, be spending a lot of alone time um, when you're not used to that. I'm used to having a lifestyle that was almost overly social. But the only time I was ever really alone was when I was in the car on my way to or from the studio. And this downshift of lifestyle has been jarring uh, with the amount of time that I spend by myself and, um, you know, that, that I'm not in the car, that I'm not constantly on the go. Uh, it's, I understand how people are having a hard time right now. I've never been unemployed before, so this is a new thing for me as well. Um, and I'm used to when things are going wrong or things are bad, that that's when we work twice as hard. I'm used to making the jokes about being essential and being in the studio 20 hours a day when things are going on. And so for anybody that's experiencing any kind of um, isolation issues or, you know, stress, financial stress, or just uncertainty about the future, I can totally sympathize and empathize with that. And I know that these stresses are real and, um, I know how sad you can get just in the middle of the night. Last night, I didn't get to bed till almost four in the morning cause I just couldn't fall asleep. Um, but I got a, I made myself get out of bed this morning and I made myself breakfast and it was really nice to go outside and work in the sun, even though it wasn't really all that warm, but just going outside and working in the yard and working on my garden and, you know, even though it was a 15 minute trip to Home Depot, actually I was in the store for 15 minutes and outside in the parking lot for a half hour wrestling those boards on my roof, just getting out a little bit, um, helped. 
so I totally get it. And I understand, um, you know, what you guys are all going through. And I just don't want anybody to think that they're going through this alone. Come on, get up here. Come on. There you go. Um, I got to be honest, as much of a pain in the ass as she's being right now, because she's super hyper because of the ice cream, I, I know I'm not the only one that thinks my pet is a godsend through all of this. Having her at home with me um, has meant so much. And I know that there are a ton of people that are fostering animals right now, which I think is amazing. And that all of the shelters are finding a way to do um, adoption still by appointment. And if there's a way that you can find it in your family to maybe adopt an animal, um, she has helped so much. And she, she, she wants to play tug of war with her cocktail from Cocktails in the War Room. R really? Come on. Oh, she's strong. Do you want to show everybody how we play tug of war? Go ahead. Go ahead. Growl like an evil dog. Do it. Do it. Are you ready? I'm going to throw it all the way across the room. There she goes. She'll be back. Bring it back. That's what's going on. Love your pets. Today's National Pet Day. Appreciate your pets. They're giving us unconditional love right now and snuggling time and helping with stress and they're awesome. We just adopted a bloodhound, says Chris. See, that's great. Steve says, I'm looking for another bulldog. Um, Paul says the Bill Ricca cat collision has cats for fostering. So if you want to foster a cat, you can do that. Um, let's see. Mark says, which Home Depot was it busy? Every Home Depot is busy. You have to wait in line to get in because of the occupancy, um, limits that are on all of the stores. So any of the stores that are open, supermarkets, um, places like Home Depot, they're only allowing so many people in to shop at one time. So I had to wait out in line. Um, uh, oh, Keith wants to know about my shirt. Normally I dig out uh, like retro concert shirts. I wore this shirt in honor of Wednesday's birthday. Um, Pugs and Roses. So obviously Axel would be the fawn pug and then Wednesday would be Slash. So Pugs and Roses. There you go. That's my shirt today. I wanted to wear something in honor of Wednesday, and the only other shirt with a pug on it that I have is a Christmas shirt. So I wore this one instead. Um, what do you... Do you want this? There you go. Oh, my goodness. Um, ow. We got to say happy birthday to Lucy, the uh, seven-year-old Great Dane. Happy birthday, Lucy. You share it with that psychotic beast right there. Ow. Well, keep your chin up, guys. We're going to get through this. I know it's not the Easter weekend you were hoping for. I know you were hoping for all of the big Easter egg hunts. Usually this weekend out at the drop zone where I go skydiving, um, Jump Town in Orange, the Easter Bunny usually skydives in and they do a big Easter egg hunt in the landing area of the airport and that's not happening. Um, so everybody's holiday traditions, um, Easter weekend traditions are kind of getting upended and um, so we just got to tough through it. Whatever you got to do to get through the day, even if it means wearing a crown and blowing up balloons and making a banner for your dog's second birthday. Just own it, live it. Someday I'm gonna look back on this and be like, remember that global pandemic when I threw a birthday party on Facebook for my dog? Yeah, totally remember it. You were there too. And you can check that off your bucket list just in case attending a, an online birthday party for a dog was ever on your bucket list, Wednesday, just check that shit right off. You're welcome. There you go. Guys, have a great Easter. 
Um, I know it's Passover for a lot of people. Um, it's Easter for a lot of people. It's just another weekend for a lot of people. Whatever it is that you're doing this weekend, um, just stay positive. Laugh at yourself. Be ridiculous. Make Do something crazy to make your kids laugh or get on FaceTime or take a funny picture to make your friends laugh. The laughing is the only thing that's getting me through all of this is the ridiculousness of the entire situation. And the fact that while I'm sitting here like this, it is not lost on me that there are literally people at work right now fighting for the lives of people that are sick. I am, my priorities are in check, trust me. So all of those healthcare workers, everybody that is doing everything that they do to work hard, to keep everything running for the rest of us, but especially um, for the ICU nurses and the people that are just working really hard, literally fighting for people's lives right now. We're trying our best to show you how much we love you and to stay the hell out of your way so you can be the superheroes that we all need right now and you guys are making us proud. So I love you guys. Keep your chin up, kiss your animals, Kiss your kids, kiss your loved ones, reach out to somebody this weekend and tell them that you love them. We're gonna get through all of this together, no matter how crazy we have to be to do it. Thank you guys for coming to my dog's birthday party. I never in a million years thought that I would be having an online birthday party for my dog and you guys made it awesome. So thank you guys for all the love. Enjoy your cocktail, cheers to all of you guys and I'll see you tomorrow and Back by popular demand tomorrow. You want the Easter Bunny? You're getting the Easter Bunny.